very much. Um, welcome to the media conference of the uh, United uh, World Karate. Um, I'm very happy to uh, bring to you the success of the last two days of meetings uh, from the founding members of, uh, of the World uh, United World Karate. Um, I want to give a bit of history as the uh, journalists uh, here. I'm sure that you are very well aware of the long history of uh, uh, karate and, and uh, the fact that um, it has not been uni unified. Um, finally, last July, after 35 years, uh, we were able to unify uh, three distinct disciplines. Um, two of them, the uh, International Olympic Committee has recognized as being distinct. One is the traditional karate of uh, the International Traditional Karate Federation. Um, we have now, on my right, uh, Horatio is the uh, chairman of the Contact Karate, which is uh, one of the, di the disciplines that will be umbrellaed under United World Karate. And uh, Liviu is uh, the chairman of the General Karate Commission, um, who will also be umbrellaed under United World Karate. And uh, the International Traditional Karate Federation chairman is Dr. Uh, Vladimir Yorga, who is also vice president of the ITKF, of uh, which I am president. Um, I was uh, asked uh, and uh, to take on the responsibility of the presidency of the United World Karate because ITKF has a long history of uh, negotiation for unification. This organization now brings uh, our estimate about 80% of the um, world of karate athletes and participants into an organization that we will move forward to Sport Accord for approaching them for recognition and following that to the International Olympic Committee also to um, confirm its responsibility for unification of karate in order for us to participate in uh, the Olympic Games. So uh, we formed this organization uh, last year. Uh, we uh, will have in Belgrade in April uh, the uh, demonstration of the unification so that we will have a competition that will include contact karate, general karate, and traditional karate events. And uh, we will have our first confirmation uh, congress at that time. In October, we will move to Brazil. Uh, we have the host, uh, Oswaldo is going to, uh, has graciously uh, been organizing the first World Championships and the first World Congress, and we expect approximately 60 countries to um, 60 countries to uh, be um, in attendance uh, in Sao Paulo, uh, Brazil. So um, this is the format of the uh, the, uh, the calendar for the 2015 year. Why is this important for us? Because uh, without unification, we have 80% of the martial art of karate outside of uh, the structured organization of sport in the world. This means that 80% of the athletes that participate in karate around the world are discriminated against because they are not able to achieve uh, the same level of participation um, as those within the IOC recognized federation, which is only a single element of the martial art. As a consequence, for 35 years we've been trying to bring together the organization and now we've completed it. And we're very excited about uh, moving this forward around the world. Um, it, collectively, the three distinct disciplines uh, represent 110 countries and we will start to move to unify within each of those countries. We met with the Minister of Sport uh, from Romania uh, earlier today as well as the President of the National Olympic Committee for Romania, both who were very happy 
and excited to hear about this uh, news um, as it will be a positive step for uh, the sport of karate. Um, I think the main obstacles to overcome was the um, the initial approach of unification 30 years ago was that there would be only one set of uh, rules that would govern um, karate sport. And that's impossible. Uh, there is uh, differences across uh, the art that have different competitions, such as contact karate, such as uh, weight categories of general karate, and such as uh, traditional karate that has no uh, weight category. And so this approach was impossible to achieve because it's like um, in athletics saying that uh, uh, the 100 meter sprint has to be actually 1500 meters because that's the only rule that we have. So um, now that we have been able to reconcile and identify the differences between the three disciplines, we now will have three distinct events with three distinct sets of rules. This will allow much uh, more development for uh, the martial art and will attract more athletes to participate. I shouldn't say attract, it will allow more athletes to participate. Câte țări sau câte federații din câte țări fac parte din lumea dumneavoastră și cu aproximație, bineînțeles, cam cât sportiv din toate aceste țări sunt membrii ai federației dumneavoastră, ai Uniunii? Our expectation uh, be, before the competition in Belgrade, we will we expect to have 50, uh, more than 50 countries that will be unified completely. Um, under the umbrella. Um, in Brazil, we expect that to add uh, another 15, so more than 60 countries will be participating uh, in Brazil for the first World Championships and our calculation is that we will have approximately 2,000 uh, athletes will be uh, competing at the first World Championships. Good sport Okay, now we in Lausanne last year we meet together for having this uh, organization and uh, it all the seven federations that uh, participated there to identify the countries that we have uh, all together. It was 110 countries where we have participate where we have affiliates and uh, the number of uh, athletes uh, absolutely we are, we cannot know at this time, but. Uh, at we can say that uh, we are around 80 or more than 80 percent of all karate in the whole world because these seven federations are the biggest or the most important uh, federation in the world. So if you're asking for the total number of uh, participants around the world for all of the federations, uh, my estimate would be certainly closer to 3 million uh, athletes that would be uh, in um, karate. The, the sport accord itself um, has uh, expressed to us um, that they, if you ask a child in any country which two sports that they um, understand, the first one will be football and the second one that they found was karate. So karate is practiced in many, many parts of the world, but very few have been able to participate in a competitive way um, because they had no path to, to follow. <coughs> now they have a path and now more of those athletes will come. It's clear that karate has an impact on children and in general in the world. It was interesting to us as a statistic. Can you tell us the scope of it? You know that it was a scope când au venit acești distinși domni la noi în România și ați avut întâlnirile cu doamna ministru, cu președintele CSR, scopul și dacă s-a semnat ceva în urma acestor întâlniri care ați dacă se poate, bineînțeles. Um, I can speak from our own uh, federation. Romania has always been a strong country within traditional karate. Um, it has a very strong structure. It has been recognized by 
the sports ministry for many years and as has General Karate. The purpose in coming here was the ease with which people could gather uh, to have this meeting. And also the General Karate uh, chairman is uh, from Romania as uh, the chairman of the uh, Contact Karate um, also lives here. So it was easy for us to have uh, a meeting with the executive uh, committee and to move uh, this forward. Um, Romania is uh, a very um, important country for karate generally. And that, uh, the ability to host uh, this meeting, um, Mr. Krisen uh, offered. Um, why did we meet with the Minister of Sport? Because we want the Minister of Sport to understand that we are working to try to uh, bring together the elements of uh, the martial art of karate because it has quite frankly been a problem for sports ministers around the world um, because there has not been any unification. The added bonus for us was the um, opportunity to meet with the National Olympic Committee and to explain to the President of the National Olympic Committee of Romania um, our desire to um, seek his support to help us move through the process of gaining recognition um, in order for uh, karate to become part of the Olympic Games. Uh, we from Brazil, we have a big responsibility for host the first world championship, but it will be the first uh, event that will bring very good impression to the world, to the sport, to the Olympic Committee, to all of the sportists in the world, because we will present uh, very strong karate. There we will do the best karate of the world in Brazil. We will host karate, contact karate, general karate, traditional karate, the best uh, from each country that will be there. For the first time, the world can see, uh, will see uh, the karate unified. Unified. Uh, it uh, will be a very big competition. We receive all support from the government in Brazil. A hundred percent of the expenses all will be paid by the Brazilian government. We are lucky because. Not only because we will host the next Olympic Games in 2016, but for a long time, uh, my Federation Brazil, we are 20 years old. Uh, since the start, the government of Brazil uh, support us. They give us very big importance. And now is a big opportunity for organize this event. We will try to do one event organization almost Olympic Games. We will do our best. Uh, all of the people in the world that they love karate will be proud when they will see uh, our event there. We will be three days of competition in Sao Paulo City. Uh, we will have a transmission every day to all of the world. You can see in your computer, your cell phone. I hope uh, karate will you do, you will be the first big step in the world. Uh, I'm very proud because it will start in my country, Brazil. In Brazil, uh, my federation, we have almost 35,000 children in our social projects in Brazil. I think because it's true, the government gave support to us. Uh, I, I am a director in the Olympic Bill in São Paulo, uh, from the São Paulo Governor. They gave us all support for one social project, 600 children. We picked the children in favelas, uh, from the traffickers, and uh, there they have all support. Every day we have a karate class, three class in the, mo in the morning, three class in the afternoon. They, the children receive the uniform 
every day they receive snacks, they have uh, one time a month uh, medical assistance exam, they have a transport tra uh, for competition every month, they have a, uh, one snack a day. Some, some children, poor children in Brazil, go to the karate sometimes only for the snack, one bag snack, one kitchen lunch they receive. But uh, we do a social education too there. We have a, a lot of meeting about health, about, about the sexual uh, education, a citizen, and the, all of the, the good we try to transmit to the children in Brazil. I think because it in my federation received 90% of the money for karate in my country. Thank you very much. So, just to give perspective though, because I don't think uh, Oswaldo, um, uh, he's very modest in terms of what he's describing, but in Brazil, uh, the traditional Karate Commission and the General Karate Commission are very uh, strong, so this gives a good foundation. His federation, General Karate, has 35,000 uh, children in their, in their social program, the traditional karate uh, commission also has about 30,000, so 65,000 children are involved in uh, some sort of government-funded social program uh, in Brazil. This is a huge um, activity uh, in the country of Brazil. Um, karate is extremely important uh, in the country of Brazil, so uh, I appreciate Oswaldo's uh, modesty, but uh, it's phenomenal if you haven't been there to see the impact that um, these programs have. Um, it, it's phenomenal to see the scope of the martial art of karate uh, within Brazil. Of course, uh, the Olympic uh, Games uh, is revered as one of the major activities around the world. So. Um, do we want to participate in the Olympic Games, um, provided that our activity re retains its integrity? Of course, we want to pursue uh, the Olympic Games. But more importantly, what we want to uh, achieve um, is the recognition as an international federation so that we are able to um, work with uh, sports ministries in every country. Right now, there are um, about uh, 25, 30 countries that recognize uh, karate outside of um, the International Olympic Committee and provide funding. Romania happens to be one of those. Um, and why is that important? Um, it's very important because of the very thing that Oswaldo has brought forward in terms of the social program. What is the social program? It is um, providing uh, education and providing uh, activity to underprivileged uh, or less privileged, I should say, in, in children uh, in that country. So people that would not be able to participate and not be able to afford um, the uh, fees or, or participation in the activity are sponsored. This, we believe, is one of the most important foundations that uh, the martial art of karate provides. And we were talking with the uh, president of the National Olympic Committee of Romania about, the, about this project and about the research that has been done uh, by um, uh, our federation uh, concerning human development uh, through the training of the, of the martial art of karate. And we have found the, uh, the values, uh, for example, um, one research project in a, a school, the school academic success rate was 30%. We introduced the social program into, the into that school. After five years, the academic success rate went from 30% to 90%. And the, the, the behavior uh, change that we that was seen in the children uh, was extraordinary. Um, so these are the values that that we believe are being missed because um, the 
IOC has recognized only one sliver of uh, the martial art, and we need to broaden that pursuit, and that is the purpose of uh, the United World Karate.